Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to show you a landscape print I made uh, two days ago uh, of an area in the southern, the eastern part of Iceland uh, called Bardarnes and, and uh, several uh, small fjords in that area. So let's have a look after the intro. So this area is in the eastern part of Iceland and in this area uh, there is uh, uh, only one town uh, in the northern part of, of this area and uh, for most part it's inhabited and there's no farms and uh, nothing uh, man-made except uh, a small mountain road and uh, old, some huts uh, that are very old. Uh, the area is, is uh, have really big mountains all over and there's only one mountain road uh, coming into the area and that's quite a difficult road for jeeps so it's not very common for people to go there and uh, for that reason uh, this area is uh, is good uh, hunting ground for Icelandic reindeer and uh, with uh, proper licensing and, and authority, you can go there and uh, hunt reindeer at a certain time of the year. So at one time I was in this area uh, scouting for reindeer uh, and finding the location of the reindeers before the hunters came in the area. And uh, the hunters uh, had a limited time to scout for the animals so um, I and, and my brother went in the area to to find them before they came and, and so we could direct them in the in the correct area it uh, can take take a long time to s scout the, all the area in several days uh, to go around the area so uh, we saved them some time uh, by scouting but I'm gonna show you a close-up of the area so this uh, it's like a head of a rhino. <laughs> the horns on the rhino <laughs> are here on, on, on the mouth. So it's a quite a funny shape for a landscape. But uh, those mountains here are uh, quite high and uh, have steep, uh, steep slopes. And uh, the road that goes in uh, goes here and over, over this mountain ridge and uh, down to this area here and uh, then there's a road going uh, over here but other than that there's no roads in all this area and the mountains uh, are steep into the ocean so there's no way for uh, a road to go around the coastline so if, if you go in this area and uh, if you hunt down a reindeer uh, at this location you have to carry it yourself down into the valley and uh, can get a car pick up here and if you if you pick it up in this area there's a very long way to go and, and normally people will take the reindeer down to the coast and people will go by boat from the town that is over here and uh, take the boat to this area and uh, pick up the, the, the animal so it's a uh, very difficult uh, area to hunt in, but uh, it's a very beautiful area and, and you can go hiking. Uh, when, when I went there, uh, we, we walked uh, from this area here over, over here uh, down to this area here uh, and then uh, around here and over this mountain here and over this mountain and down to this valley and then by the coastline over here and uh, I think we went uh, back up like on this place uh, to the road that was here so it was uh, like a two day uh, trip uh, walking in this area so it was uh, quite quite a task to, to go uh, in this area and at one place we found uh, reindeers uh, at a peak. They, they, uh, the reindeers normally, if they notice people, they run away and they run up in the mountain to the highest peak and, and 
uh, when the hunters found them, they were just several reindeers at a very small area at the top of the mountain. <laughs> so they were like 10 or 15 meters from the hunters when they saw the hunters because there was fog at the top of the mountain. So uh, they didn't exactly know what they were going to do at that close uh, close range. Normally they will uh, shoot their reindeer at a very uh, far distance because the reindeers are, are very uh, difficult. They, if they sense uh, the smell of the humans, they run away. And, and you have to take into account the wind when you are f hunting the reindeer. But here's a close-up rotational view of the model. A manual turntable <laughs> with my hands. I hope you like this model. I really enjoyed painting, painting this landscape model. So let's have a look at the time lapse of the print and the paint process. And I hope you enjoy watching those.
this will be this video on uh, this landscape print I did. I'm gonna send this model out uh, to a person that I think will appreciate the hunting grounds aspect of this area. Uh, uh, and for now, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.